Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel here at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis, Missouri. The text is Romans chapter 5, verses 14 through 17. The Reverend Jonathan Manor is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from Romans, the fifth chapter. Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sinning was not like the transgression of Adam who was a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass, for if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift by the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. And the free gift is not like the result of that one man's sin, for the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation. But the free gift following many trespasses, brought justification. For if, because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. O Lord, have mercy on us. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden. Neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired and to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And so it began. Judgment following the trespass, bringing condemnation. Death began to reign from Adam and continued to Moses and continued on and on and on. We clearly see its effects today in our world, in our nation, in our communities, and even in our own lives. Thoughts that betray, words that crush, deeds that destroy. From Adam, to Moses, to you, and to me. From the child in the womb, to the teenager, to the parent, to the elderly. None is righteous, we're told, no, not one. And all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Last two Sundays in church, for me, there have been baptisms of infants just nine months and a few days old brought to the waters of holy baptism to that pond. At those baptisms, I heard that the Word of God teaches that we are all conceived and born sinful, and are under the power of the devil until Christ claims us as his own. 
we would be lost forever unless delivered from sin, death, and everlasting condemnation. And I saw these two infants under that power and in need of deliverance. And I heard this. The Father of all mercy and grace has sent His Son, Jesus Christ, who atoned for the sin of the whole world, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. And I heard Jesus' words, Let the little children come to Me, for to them belongs the kingdom of God. And I saw the pastor making the sign of the cross both upon the forehead and upon the heart of those infants to mark them as ones redeemed by Christ the crucified. And I heard the promises of God, the promises of the word of God in and with the water as it was poured over their heads in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I saw and I heard and I know those promises of forgiveness and salvation are true. Baptism now saves. Yes, death reigned through that one man, but much more will these who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. We see and we hear and we know this to be true. Both sin and death and grace and life with infants brought to baptism, as they grow as children, and as adults as well. We see the sin. We hear of the hardship. We know the painful effects. Yet in the power of the Holy Spirit, we see how God restores repentant sinners. We hear the beautiful words of holy absolution. We know the joy of restoration between one another in our relationship with God. Yes, death reigned through the one man, but much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. infants to childhood to adulthood and finally as we near the end of our lives perhaps even on our deathbeds sin and Satan do their best to, to try to reign in our lives again look at what you've done see your sins throughout your life see who you've hurt see its effects why do you deserve to spend eternity with Christ? You don't. And neither do I. But in that moment, and in every moment of our lives, Christ directs our eyes and our ears and our minds back to Him. He says, look at what I've done for you. See me hanging on the cross to die for all the times that your thoughts betrayed and your words crushed and your deeds destroyed. Hear me proclaim, it is finished, as I pay the price for every one of those sins. See and hear and know that indeed your sins are forgiven. Eternal life is yours, not because you deserve it, but because Jesus gives it. To you in that abundance of grace as a free gift through his death and resurrection. Yes, death reigned through that one man, but much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life now and forever through the one man, Jesus Christ. That's his promise to you that you see in your life, that you hear in his word, that you know to be true. For he who promised is faithful. To him be the glory now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Chapel. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about long and short-term opportunities to serve, 
Visit servenow.lcms.org.